Appreciate you all coming out today. Uh, this is a uh, fun celebration of a uh, new office for us, as you know. We do a lot of these in our grocery stores, and they become a little bit, uh, I don't want to say the same, but we've done it so many times that uh, this is fun to open something different and, and have a different kind of uh, group of people here today. So thank you for joining us. Performa, again, Brian, Doug, and Aaron had key roles on this job, and uh, those of you that have ever had an opportunity to work with them know that they are very easy and uh, fun to work with and are very creative. So much of this design and, and things came from them. I am going to bring up Brian Hetzel, where is he? From Performa, and he's going to come up and talk about the building a little bit, I think. Or sing and dance. <laughs> Mark and I held to talk about uh, what was going to be on each other's card because he stole a lot of my thunder. In it. But part of that is really, really good because it makes uh, uh, me and I think every one of the performer people that are here today um, proud because everything that he talked about is kind of the embodiment of festival foods. And when he entered, when we entered today, he said, "Hey, I'm one of the first people here, and, and uh, welcome to see your building." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. This is this is your building." Um, and, and uh, you know, a couple taglines that I saw on the website over the last couple months is extraordinary food, and performer can't do that, but we can do an extraordinary experience. So when my wife and when anybody that goes to your stores, um, it is a sharp, extraordinary food and it's an extraordinary experience. And I hope what we created here for uh, all of you is an extraordinary experience because I really do think that's the embodiment of what we believe Festival Foods is. So um, early on in our, in our performer process, we think there's, there's three simple steps. It's kind of our secret sauce. It's kind of what we would think is our boomerang, right? And uh, we had a kickoff in March of last year, and it was uh, Danielle, Joel, and Mark. Um, Doug and myself, and I think Aaron. And uh, we had to talk about the project mission and vision. And I pulled it out today and I sent it to Danielle and I sent it to Joel. Because in the kickoff, we set all the goals and objectives of the project, right? And uh, I was very, very proud to go through that whole entire document. And other than having indoor parking for 30 cars <laughs> in a racquetball court, <laughs> We pretty much nailed everything. <laughs> but part of that was, and I, I just wanted to read the kind of the project mission and vision that we all um, spoke about. It's one of the first key elements in our process is we want to know what the project vision and mission is. And this is what that group created that day. And, and I walk around and I think, man, that's, that's, I think we embody that. So it says, to provide a comfortable, smart, efficient, cost-effective work environment that can strengthen the festival brand. To me, that's this architecture. Um, and engineers, because we have engineers on staff. Um, so I don't have a lot to say about the building. Um, it was the attention to detail. Uh, Daniel sent me an email. He had a friend stop by and said, hey, what type of architecture is this? And I said, it's just simple and modern. It's modern, clean, contemporary architecture. Uh, just for a history lesson, everyone can go away. There's an architect, famous, died in the late 60s. Um, his name was Mies van der Rohe. He had two famous lines, is less is more, and I think we have accomplished that, and God is in the details, and I think we accomplished that. And we got a boomerang shape. He never said that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I wanted to say, because I know Dave Voss is going to come up and talk next. So thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. So then you bring in Performa, okay? And you think Brian talks a lot long. You should be in some of his meetings, you know, in three, four hours. But, um, you know, when I think of Jeff Kanzelberger and Doug Page, the owners, and, and Brian, and all those guys at, at Performa, um, just real down to earth people. And, and, you know, again, like developers, architects can be a little hard to work with, you know? And, and they kind of, the typical architect thinks the contractor should just build what's on the plan and don't ask any questions. But just opposite of Performa, they say, hey, you look, you've got the experience, tell us, tell us what needs to be changed, tell us what, in your experience what, what's the best. And you talk about an arm-in-arm relationship, it, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, 
Migrant has been a very, very lucky that we've done over $650 million worth of work we've performed in over 100 projects. So, again, great, great people, I'll tell you, as far as we're concerned, top notch, the best. If not uh, one of the best, we think they're the best. Thank you. Here, come on. Come on.